Good afternoon all, and emphasis on the afternoon because bizarrely it's the afternoon and I normally shave in the mornings, it's particularly on video. Um, it's Sunday afternoon, knocking off at one o'clock and I thought, you know what, it's really hot. I didn't get a chance to shave yesterday because, um, yeah, a little bit busy, tired. Didn't get a chance and I wanted to have a bit of growth, which I've got today, a couple of days worth, so I can really get to enjoy this particular product. Now, you know what it is because you've seen the preview shot and the title of the video, so I don't know why I'm trying to keep you all in suspense, so I won't any longer. It is this. It's the Lemon Peppermint and Menthol from OSP. Now, not that many of these floating around in the wild yet, but there will be. OSP. That right there is summer in a pot. Mediterranean summer because you've got the fresh lemon and it's a really fresh lemon scent and you've got the cooling peppermint now somewhere in there will be the menthol that you'll feel on your face and that's exactly why I'm doing it now because I've not long since finished doing a bit of gardening uh, took the wife out shopping this morning spent too much money in Pandora again um, and yes yeah, so I thought it's getting warm I'm going to cool myself down so I've had a nice ice cold water now we have a nice ice cold shave just to uh, chill down the old boat race. So that's it, lemon, peppermint and menthol. We're going to be using a cadman silver tip brush and a razor rock bazooka with an Astra Superior stainless blade. Um, I've already done a hot towel as if I need it because I've been out in the sun uh, sweating my nadges off. Um, so I thought, oh, just give it a bit of help, you know. So I've just done the hot towel literally just before I hit record on the video. And then we're going to build a good old lather on the face to give it a little bit more prep. So, squeeze the water out of the brush. Love these cabman brushes. And we're just going to load up. Now, with all of James's soaps that I've ever used, they do give a really good lather. And they don't take, you don't need to bloom them because they give up their lather nice and easy. I'm going to give it a good heavy load because what I don't want to do, I don't want to run out. Plus I want to see just how good it is. Now the lemon and the peppermint are definitely there. The menthol is one of those things I think you can feel more than you can smell. Um, but let's see. So, we've got Good amount going on in there. Yeah, I think we've got a plenty there. And we're not going to waste that which we built up in the pot. Oh no. And get it on the old boat race. I don't like wasting things. Oh, I can feel a bit of the menthol almost immediately. So, a nice chill. Anyway, let's get building. So chaps, I hope you've had a fantastic week so far. That lemon's really fresh. Feel the ornamental tingling on the lips. Proper warm up here in Stoke today. Knocking off about 28, 29 degrees. Last check of the off thermometer. And I thought it would be a good idea to do a bit of gardening this morning, just before this shave. Crazy idea that was. I might have did some yesterday or, and uh, it was necessary because the weeds, even though I had done them the week before, decided that they would go mental with the sunshine. So I had a back garden that resembled the jungle. And you know what, the water retention from the brush is almost spot on. I need a little bit more, it's a bit thick, but it's really creamy. I mean, look, it's just... 
and it's a subtle chill. It's a nice subtle chill. And we're not talking melt your face off freezing cold. No. Um, but this is it's what I would call refreshing. And I like refreshing, that's what I need. Just a touch more with the old water. And I think we're just going, and we've got stacks of leather going on in there. It's like a bloody oak tree looking like that. It's great. And like I said, it's a nice subtle chill. So for those of you who like just a gentle chill, I mean we're talking more than Pro Raso by quite a bit. More than your, oh what's it called? I've got it there. Um, Ingrams, more than Ingrams. Not as much as say Margaritas in the Arctic or Denali. It's so if, if like your Denali was a 10 and your Parasa was a 1, this is sitting probably about 5 or 6, somewhere in between. And it's nice, it's very refreshing without being too much. So, oh no, we know exactly how well the OSP soaps perform. And this is no exception. Absolutely spot on. Plenty of glide. Ample cushion. And that lemony fresh scent. Very summery. Very nice. I like that a lot. So. What have you been up to? Me, I've been very busy at work. Been crazy busy. Been uh, enjoying a few new beers. Had a few from uh, Verdant this week that were really nice. The headband was one of them. And first I didn't think I liked that. It's an American pale, but one of the flavour profiles mentioned was cheese. And I thought, what? Nah, can't be. Do you know what? It didn't taste the cheese, but it just tasted really nice and complex. It was almost a savoury layer to the uh, the cheese on top of the hops and the light bitterness and the tropical fruit that was there. But anyway, that's another story. Um, that first pass, super in typical ISP style, I've got a bit of slickness left on the skin from one pass. I'm going to do a second pass though. And I've still got that nice subtle cooling effect. Not thoroughly enjoy. And do you know what? Come look at that. We've done two passes, the brush is still solid of lava and there's loads kicking around the edges. Almost tempted to uh, lather up the whole body. Is that warm? And uh, 
I think to myself, this could be a really nice, a really nice shaving soap for everyday use. Because it's not too cold. But in the mornings, this level of chill will be enough. Just give you a gentle wake up, you know? Just to enliven the senses a little bit. It's got that freshness in the lemon. Just some right amount of chill to wake you up. tell myself I probably wouldn't do three passes at, at this stage of the day but you can't can't not so plenty of slickness left I mean we're talking oodles and doodles I'll tell you what we're going to do we're just going to take the lather off the base of the brush and I'm going to massage it just really get the lemon it's great Love a fresh lemon. I'll try James's uh, Sicilian lemon cream. And it's that same kind of freshness on the lemon. I could, I could quite happily just lather up the whole body with that. Cool down nicely, I would. Think of the, uh, the mint and menthol shower gel. That kind of effect. You know what I mean. You've all seen the reviews on Amazon and places like that. This has that same kind of nice chilling effect. Really enjoying it. Part of me wants to just stand here and waffle at you with a face covered in lather. Because it's that nice and refreshing. But we're going to uh, perform the third pass. Carefully. Because I have got a sensitive neck area. And I find the cooling effect of the menthol kind of gives you a bit of a false sense of security sometimes because it desensitises and I don't want to end up kind of putting too much pressure on like I've already done there look. Refreshing. It is bang on. Now I know uh, people like Nolan. I know you're not overly keen on your, your heavy menthol, but this spot on. Um, I mean, you've got your your menthol heads on one of them. I do love them really strong to the point where they make your eyes stream. I really do. Um, but this. menthol and lemon and peppermint is spot on. There is the right amount for people who want to experiment with menthol, want that nice chill, but don't want to go to Arctic, shall we say. It's spot on. I like, I mean, we all know the shave experience is great with OSP, the perfect levels of glide, 
perfect level of cushion and uh, post shave always knocks it out of the park, it really does. And then you've got the scents. The scent of the lemon is natural. It's not your toilet cleaner, artificial, ridiculously sweet kind of things that you sometimes get in like your, you know like your lemon flavoured sweets where it's quite clearly artificial. It's probably just acidic with something else in there. No, this is real. This is honest, upfront, probably squeezed out of a lemon not that long ago. And the peppermint, yeah, it's fresh, it's light, it's it's summery, and it, it combines and it's it's wonderful. It's summer, it's summer personified. If you could personify a scent at all. A Mediterranean summer. Yeah. It's bang on. And uh, like I say, post shave, even now my skin feels fantastic. No drama in the shave. No nothing horrific. Nothing unpleasant. Nothing to dislike. This one, like all other OSP soaps that I've used. And uh, I remember using James's developmental soaps back in the day um, when they started out sending out samples on the TSR. I've tried his, uh, well, I've tried, I've tried the creams, I've tried various of the core soaps. I've got the UK Wet Shaving Society Special Edition, which James, I'm, I really hope that doesn't stay limited in the past. Um, but this is a banger. And not in a bangers in a car sense, we're talking amazing, really good, really fresh, perfect summer soap. And hopefully, we'll get a balm and a splash to match, maybe even a face soap, maybe, oh yeah, a body soap, a bar of soap in this with the menthol. It's got to be done, James, it really has. Um, I don't know if you're planning on doing that, but if you do, I really, really would like some because it's fantastic and we could, uh, yeah, this, this really does need to be tried. I can't wait for it to get out there and see what other people think of it because I think it's absolutely amazing. It's bright, it's fresh, it's summery, it's chilly, but not too chilly. And it's OSP, so I know everything about it is great post-shave, during the shave. And I'm waffling. Um, some people like waffles particularly beans, bacon, sausage, you know. But when you're waffling on, saying the same thing over and over again, it can probably get a little bit boring. So gents, I'm gonna let you enjoy the rest of your Sunday afternoon. I'm gonna go and encode this video and upload it for your viewing pleasure. So thank you again for watching. This has been the OSP Lemon, Peppermint and Menthol. I've been Nick and I'll see you again soon. Bye.